All right, <clears throat> dumb quiz. How much do you think you wait? What? How much? How much do you think you are dumb, bro? What kind of qu what what kind of question is that? How much? How much do you think you are dumb? What? Once in a while? I mean, like yeah, it's like one or two like dumb things I'll do every now and then. How often do you make stupid statements? Bro, hardly, bro. Honestly, a lot of the things I say is smart, but then like y'all don't be like looking at it at a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? Can you say the word phenomenon ten times in a row without stuffing it up? <clears throat> phenomenon, 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 phenomenon. Too easy, bro. Too easy, bro. Yes, I yes, of course, bro. Of course, bro. You know, how many times are you referred to as foolish? Um, yeah, I mean, like, once or twice. Ain't that crazy, you know? Uh -huh. Have you ever placed your finger in a light socket? Come on, bro. He's in a country that needs a transformer, bro. Come on, bro. Dude's IQ is obviously two times below the average, bro. No, I've never put my finger into a light socket, bro. No. When I'm bored, why would I? It's dangerous. Yes, bro. I've never even done it in my childhood, bro. I didn't have that type of childhood. What type of contents do you usually make? What? What are these cho stupid, foolish, pointless? I'll go foolish. I wouldn't say it's pointless. Science is sometimes hard, sometimes easy. Tight shit. Tight shit. Sometimes hard, sometimes easy. Tight shit. Tight shit. They just said, all stop, stop, stop. It's not all the time, always. If someone is making fun of your friend, what do you do at that time? Make fun of my friend? I would join that person to start laughing at my own friend. All right, now that's kind of crazy. That's crazy. Nothing, I'm minding my own business. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm minding my own business. Me personally, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'm letting him go. But if it's a friend that I know can't necessarily defend himself very well, and he's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he he's not... Roasting niggas isn't his strong suit. Then I'm like, all right, I got to jump in. You feel me? But nine times out of ten, I'll either I'll either help or I'm doing nothing. All right, nine times out of ten is kind of, all right, well, it's probably like six times out of ten. I'm probably helping. Like, there's a good chance that I'm probably not going to help if it's one-on-one. -on -one. But if it's two-on-one -on -one or anything more than just one, dude, I'm coming in. I'm cooking everybody in that bitch. And I'm cooking my damn friend for letting that shit happen to him. But I'll help my friend, though. More often than not. How much are your words usually clear on a scale? Wait, what? How much? What? How? How much are your words usually clear? Bro, whoever made this test is actually dumb. Like, they're not even wording stuff properly, bro. Look, watch. I put this into, um, I put this into Google. Look, watch this. Put this into Google. It's going to autocorrect it. Oh, uh, uh, actually clear words. Uh, words are hard, bro. I'll go three, three times out of, out of five. I'll go, I'll go three times. Words are hard, bro. It's hard to get words out sometimes. Cause sometimes they be using new word combinations that's never been used before, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some, some like combinations of words haven't been used before. And then people use them and I'm like, whoa, I don't know why you would say those words to me in that order outside of a classroom. You know what I'm saying? Which of these things you have eaten? You see what I'm saying, though? Like, this test is... Bro, this test is... Right? Have... Which of these things you have eaten? Can you pick more than one option? Oh, okay. I only ate dirt once, though. But, I, I mean, I would have, like... I've eaten fruits more, though. Difficult to say. What the fuck you mean, difficult to say? Nah, bro, I've eaten fruits more often. I only ate dirt once. It was like a mud pie type shit, and then I ate the dirt afterwards. Like, it's not, that's not even crazy, bro. That's not even crazy. Dirt because you did it. No, that's not, no, that's not what that means, bro. No, 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 hell no. Can I go back? No, nah, I can't even go back. 
what is the idea of a perfect day? What? Solving challenging puzzles, going on an adventure with friends, relaxing on a beach with a good book, watching your favorite TV show. A perfect day? I like solving puzzles, bro. I'm a huge puzzle guy, bro. Um, but I guess a perfect day. It would probably be going on an adventure with the homies, bro. Oh, my gosh. Last I can't even remember the last time that shit happened, bro. That'd be perfect, bro. Took a Sid Cap. That's not even true, bro. I literally play. Dude, I love puzzles, bro. I, not like jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles are kind of dumb to me because I think they're too easy. They just take a long time. Any like it's easy to do. It just takes a long time. I like the like, bro. What's it called? Like this game here. Threes, bro. I be playing this game. Okay, yeah. It. I be playing this game. And it's like I like the in, the fa the interesting factor. Like you gotta like add like these two together, and then you gotta get three, and then you add the threes together to get six, nine. You know what I'm saying? Like eighteen, all that. And oh wait, it doesn't add like that. It's three and three and three turn into. They turn into twelve? Oh no, no, they turn into six, and then the six turns into twelve. Yeah, it doesn't multiply. Why did I think that? Never mind. Disregard that. Um. How do you handle unexpected problems? Stay calm. That's the best that's the best method. Yeah. Best method. Stay calm. Even if you're panicking, panic on the inside. And if you are and if you already have the situation can't handled, then you can panic to scare the other people around you. Or just so you can panic with everyone else, but then you already have the situation handled in your head. I like to do that too. Cause some I found that if I'm if I'm not panicking when everyone else is panicking, then they're they're also gonna panic. Cause like oh my gosh, like nobody knows what's going on, and I'm like, all right, slow down. Like I'll panic with you for a little bit, but then after that, we're gonna have to you know what I'm saying, get a get a move on things. You know, how do you handle unexpected? Pro oh shit, I already did that one. What is your favorite way to learn something new? And ain't watching no damn book. I'll tell you that, nigga, you're not him. What the fuck? When did I say? I mean, like, it's one of my pronouns. All right. Um, oh. Watch him a book. Huh? What if personal experience is tough? But I like watching informative videos on it. Hang on, workshop. Nah, bro. Watching informative videos is way better. What's your go-to strategy for making decisions? Weigh out pros and cons. If the positives outweigh the negatives, then I'll go with it. Literally. Go with the flow, see what happens. I used to do that, but then I found that I wasn't in control of the situations that were happening, so I was like, oh, okay. I'll, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to weigh out the pros and cons. And sometimes it's good to take risks. Like, say there's only a... Like, say there's, like, seven positives, and there's, like, six negatives, or eight negatives. There's still seven positives, and those if those seven positives are, like, really good, then, like, you can still just go for it, regardless of the eight negatives. Because eight negatives might not be that. They might not weigh as much, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Asking others' opinions is ass, bro. Don't do that shit, bro. Unless it's, like, a crazy decision, then, yeah, you ask other people. But still, like, come to your own judgment at the end of the day. Just get them in as, like, opinions. Don't have, uh, ask other people things and then take their word as gospel, bro. Even if it's me and y'all are asking me for advice, like, don't do that either. Don't take anything I say, like, you know? Do your own research. How do you... What? How do you handle a difficult riddle or brain teaser? Dude, I hate riddles, bro. I hate riddles. Brain... Wait, what is a... What is a brain teaser? What's an example? Example of a brain teaser. What is that? Oh, okay. A window. A wi oh, fuck. A windowless room has three light bulbs. Okay. You're outside the room with three switches, each controlling one of the light bulbs. 
You can only enter the room one time. How can you determine which switch controls which light bulb? Um, are they gonna give me the answer to this at some point? Uh, I'm just gonna ask three light bulbs for us to learn three switches. How do you determine which switch controls which light bulb? Honestly, you can't, right? It's a windowless room, yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell. Or you hear it. You can, like, hear for it. But brain teasers are, bro, it's like a riddle, bro. Nah, I hate brain teasers too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, what's the answer to this? I, I don't know. Like, do you hear it turn on? Like, you can, like, low-key hear the light bulb, like, zzz, like, you can, like, hear it. And then, like, when you hear it turn on, then, like, that's the one that you, you pick, right? What's the answer? One at a time. You can only answer the room one. You can only uh answer the room one time though. So if you flick one on and then it doesn't work, then like you're you're fucked. What is the answer? Window. I'm about to get fucking pissed, bro. I'm, I'm not leaving till I find the answer to this. Windowless room three light bulb answer. Solve the puzzle with three steps. First, turn on the switch and leave it on for a few minutes. After a few minutes, turn the switch off. Turn on the second switch. Enter the room. What did you just say to me? Turn on the first switch and leave it on. Turn the first switch off and turn on the second switch. Enter the room. Now you can determine which switch controls the level based on the following observations. That's, that's facts. Because as soon as you turn the light off, if it's been on for a while, it'll still have that little, like, um, thing to it. And you'll be able to tell if it's warm and shit, too. That's facts. That That's true. That is very true. That is very true. You could, you should be able to hear it, though, too, right? Now, if you're in a place where, like, you can't hear either, then yes, that is a solid option. I ain't gonna lie. I'd probably turn on, yeah, i turn on just one. Turn on the other one, and then, yeah, you start feeling, like, how warm they are, too. That's a, uh, but I wasn't, I'm expecting to be in a place that doesn't have a ladder though. So, I don't know. Brain teasers are stupid too. It, it's just like a fucking riddle, bro. I hate them shits, bro. First, I didn't give up. Ask for hints and look at the answer. Keep trying until I solve it. Laugh it off and move on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, bro, you just move on from this shit, bro. This shit is dumb, bro. It's not even worth, like, being upset about, bro. When faced with a challenge, what's your initial reaction? Alright, excitement is crazy. But over the years, I have gotten better with challenges, right? I'm starting to play Souls games a little bit, okay? Um, so I'd go with... Caution. Caution. Assess the situation. Let the boss beat up on me a little bit. Turn on two at the same time. Technically, yes. But then you wouldn't know which one, which two, uh, do the thing. But yeah, I see what I see what you're saying. Um, fuck, what was I about to say? Um, yeah, let the boss beat up on me a little bit, and then so I can learn how to dodge its attacks without really fighting back. It will, yeah, basically you take the first like two or three deaths. And you learn from it. And then after that, that's when you can really start. Like, alright, let me go in. Let me heal more. Like, let me, like, actually try to beat this thing, you know? But then that's whenever it turns up in the second phase. And then you gotta, like, relearn all the attacks again. Because now he attacks, like, ten times faster. And it's so stupid. But it's a challenge. It's the, That's the point of it. What's your preferred way to unwind after a long day? You don't got beaten much at all? I mean, I wouldn't do that. But I'm just saying, like, that's kind of... Uh... Yeah, I was about to say, I call my friends, and then when I'm on FaceTime, I have them in a little corner, and then I'm literally, like, playing, like, 2048 or, like, solving a puzzle or something on my phone, bro. 
I have like I literally play nothing but puzzle games all day, bro. Like, what's it called? Um, like twenty forty eight, goat, bro. I'm a goat in twenty forty eight, bro. I'm a goat. Like I'm goat tier twenty forty eight. Twenty forty eight. Uh, what's this block? Oh shit! Block blast. It has an exclamation point on it. Yeah, this shit right here. Wait, it don't look like this. Yeah, yeah it's like this. It looks like this. This shit right here, tough. Uh, obviously flow, bruh. I mean, like flow. Flow's a classic, bruh. Flow's a classic. I've been doing a daily puzzle every day for 1,354 days. So, uh, yeah, that's like close to four years now. Um, oh, yeah, flow bridges, yeah. And then tune blast. It's like that, like, not Candy Crush, but not not candy crush either the death of saga but this game does not look like this bro i ain't gonna lie that's cap this is not how my game look like bro niggas just be lying on shit for no reason bro then they got the other one that i just started playing recently royal match this one is candy crush though this one is candy crush but then they have like special levels where like, yeah, it'll be like, you got to solve this in 40 moves and you have a minute on the time because if you don't, then he's going to get impaled. So then you got to do it like really quick. So then you got to move shit like that type shit. Yeah. Or yeah, or he's going to drown, you know, like, yeah, they got a little thing like that. Like, yeah, yeah, that should be tough. Cause then you gotta solve it really quick, and then a lot of these games are just RNG though. So like, I, I've played them so much, I have so many hours in this shit to where like it's literally just luck based, bro. You can do everything perfectly, bro, and you will still lose because it ha it's all about how you start and how it lines up with the start, and then like, cause you can't control what pieces come down because it's all random. So it's it's so stupid, bro. Like sometimes you'll be stuck on a level for a long time, and I'll I'll already know within the first like two or three moves if I need to restart. Like that, it, it's dumb. Or or you'll have to like pay money and shit to like uh get continues and all that. Tetris, uh, nigga, you don't like puzzles. Oh yeah, yeah. I, how did I forget that? Yeah, definitely. I never played a puzzle game in my life. Uh, binge watching TV shows. I have to be in a certain mood for TV. Meditation or yoga? I would meditate in the morning. I wouldn't meditate after work. What? Uh. Socializing with friends and brain teasers. Uh, the fact that they have brain teasers in this bitch and puzzles is pissing me off, bro. Because that those are not the same thing. And people who like one don't necessarily mean they like the other. I'm going with socializing with friends. I normally like call at least one of the homies after work every day. How do you approach learning from your mistakes? Huh? Accept them and move forward. Pretend that they never happened. <laughs> Blame others for my mistakes. Analyze and learn from them. Yeah, bro, I learn from my shit, bro. Like, bro, what, bro? How do you just... Wait, what? How do you handle disagreements with others? Huh? Engage in a logical debate. Avoid conflict. Try to find a common ground. Get emotional and defensive. I try to find a common ground. But I like to debate sometimes, even if I don't necessarily believe in the point. Like, dude, I had argued with this one guy at work, one of this older dude. Yeah, 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 that's how I'm answering it. I got into an argument, I get into an argument with, like, older dudes that I work with, right? Because I'm, like, the youngest nigga that I at my job. Bruh, I be getting into arguments with niggas because I just, like... They'd be like, oh, yeah, you look like a flat earther or some shit. Like, I bet you're, like, because, you know, like, they'd be like, oh, yeah, your generation doesn't really. And I'll be like, I'll be like, bro, like, there's no evidence that the earth is even round, bro. And then he's like, bro, what? Bro? And I'll just be gaslighting it, bro. It'll go on for, like, 30 or 40 minutes, bro. We're just yapping about the earth. And I'm just sitting here like, bro, like, no, bro. What are you talking about? Like, 
bro, nah, it's because, like, the way the curvature of the Earth, like, I didn't say it wasn't, like, round, like a sphere. I'm just saying it's not, like, you know what I'm saying? It's more like a CD disc. And it got, like, it's it's curved on there, though. It's curved. They got mountains and valleys and all that. But overall, we're all laying on a flat plane. And then, hit, bro, it's just like, oh, my God. Where are you pissing this nigga off, bro? That should be funny, bro. That should be funny. But, nah, it's, uh, nah. But the bad part about that is, though, is whenever I actually am arguing a point that I actually believe in, they don't take it seriously because they think I'm joking all the time because everything I say is in the same tone, bro. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Uh, super. What the fuck am I gonna do with super intelligence? What the fuck. Um, I've always said invisibility. Or not invisibility, teleportation. Wait, what the fuck? Time travel would get fishy. I. There's got to be some sort of downside with time travel, bro. There's just no way. Cause then you start fucking up the timelines and shit, and next thing you know, the TVA on your ass. Wait, what is super intelligence? Maybe, maybe I'm sleeping on super intelligence. Is that like Professor Xavier? Super intelligence superpower. Oh, that nigga, oh, Dr. Stone got super intelligence? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who got super intelligence? Dr. Doom? Intelligence is so remarkable. Oh, yeah, GG. Yeah, I'm taking super intelligence, bro. Yeah, I'm taking super intelligence, bro. Great, you. You might actually be dumb. The choice of answers you have made shows only one thing, which is that you are quite dumb, or maybe you're not. Your answers are consistent with this fact and the characteristics of this personality. What the fuck does that even mean? No, this test is bullshit, bro. Nah, no, this is a bullshit test.